The Las Vegas Raiders have signed linebacker Micah Kaiser, uh, a player that spent last season with the Denver Broncos and a couple seasons prior to that with the Los Angeles Rams. I think this is a nice piece to bring into the Raiders. Now, I will say this. Uh, although he's still young, he really hasn't had an impact in the league. Truth be told, he's played more of his snaps on special teams than he has on non-special teams, right? Actually yeah, going out there and playing defense. Uh, so for the Raiders, I expect this to primarily be a special team signing, but I will also say this. He is still a young football player who has a lot of potential. He's big, he's strong, he's physical. Uh, he is only six feet tall, but he does weigh 255 pounds. So he's a big football player. Now, I think he's going to primarily play on special teams, but what does this mean for the Raiders who are pretty thin at linebacker? Like, let's think about this. Right now, the Raiders have Divine Diablo and they have Denzel Perryman, who are really the two primary linebackers. We released Nick Kwiatkowski and we released Corey Littleton. And Littleton, I think yesterday or the day before, signed with the Carolina Panthers. So what does Micah Kaiser mean for the Las Vegas Raiders? Does it mean that he's going to be a guy that may play, play on base defense? Because in the past, he's primarily been a base defense linebacker. And I think that is where he could find a role within this Raiders, Raiders roster. Now, when I watched some of his tape uh, a couple days ago, one of the things that stuck out to me is the fact that he is a physical football player. He doesn't back down from offensive tackles or offensive guards. He doesn't try to play a finesse game, something that Nick Kwiatkowski and Corey Littleton did in the past. He doesn't do that. Right? He's physical. He's going to take on those guards. He's going to take on those tackles. He's going to go and hit a running back. Corey Littleton, one of the biggest issues I had with him was he would catch tackles. He wouldn't go and make them. He wouldn't go and make hits. He would catch them. And Micah Kaiser is the complete opposite, which kind of tells you what do the Raiders kind of think about this current linebacking group? What are what are their plans for the future? Now, Danzel Perryman is also a hitter, right? He's one of those guys that does not back down. And there's a lot to be seen from Divine Diablo, but Diablo in the past hasn't really shown to be the guy that goes and hits people. And that kind of worries me a little bit because from what I've seen so far from the players that we've brought on, we don't have those finesse type of players, right? Even swapping guy like Unique and Kako for Chandler Jones, those are the types of moves that you make when you're trying to get smarter and more physical because that's what Chandler Jones brings to the Raiders. And now bringing a guy like Michael Kaiser, what does that mean for a guy like Divine Diablo? Now, I will say this. I think Diablo still plays more. And I think D Diablo has more potential. And on top of that, we don't really know how Diablo is going to uh, progress coming into year two, right? In year one, he, I wouldn't say he necessarily caught tackles, but he wasn't the best when it came to taking blocks on. Oftentimes, he would use his hands, which is perfectly fine. But sometimes you want to see a linebacker run through a guard or run through a tackle using a shoulder patch, right? Rip through those guys and really get in there and, and stuff a, 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 a gap, right? Not let the running back get through there. And I do think Divide, Divine Diablo will pro progress going into year two, but will he progress enough that this coaching staff has that confidence in him? I don't know. We'll obviously see what happens this year, but I do like the Micah Kaiser signing. I don't think he plays a ton, to be honest with you guys. I think he's a base defense guy as well as special teams. And I think that's where he's going to make most of his money. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you guys think about this pick. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.